we're now ready to assemble the Y slide. For this you'll need the hardware from bag number 8 and from bag 12, the tools bag, you'll need the larger of the two Allen keys, this is the 3mm Allen key, and this spacer plate. You'll need two, the remaining two linear rails and the two Y support locks. Both of these are identical so it doesn't matter which one you, you use first. So, using the large M4 screw plus its washer, mount the spacer plate to the front of one of the guide blocks. It's sufficient just to put that in finger tight, it doesn't really matter. Then take the linear rails and push them through the guide block until they are flush with the surface of the spacer plate. Do the same with the other rail. Then turn the block over. Take two of the large grub screws, screw them into the support block and tighten them up. This clamps the Y rails into the support block. When tightening them, use the short handle of the Allen key, not the long handle, because with this you can apply too much torque and you risk stripping the threads. You can now remove the spacer plate. Its only purpose was to get the correct protrusion of the guide rods. We now bring over our partially assembled machine. We can take the Y slide and pass both of the rails through the bearings in the carriage. Check that it's a, a smooth fit. Take the long M3 screw, it's a 20mm long one, and an M3 washer. Turn the machine over. I'll zoom in a little here. And secure the front end of the Y belt, see the loop goes into the recess here and then the screw falls down through the top. Tighten that using the PosiDrive number one screwdriver. Turn the machine back over. Next we're going to put the rear Y block on, so just turn the machine around. And slide it on both of the rails until it's flush with the ends. One rail may protrude slightly more than the other because the stock lengths of these rails can vary by a millimetre or so, but it doesn't matter. Again, take the two M6 grub screws and the Allen key and tighten the rails into place. You don't have to turn the machine over but it helps to to do so.
Finally, we're going to tension the Y belt. On the end of the Y belt, there's this plastic fitting which is threaded, and this screw goes into that and pulls the belt tight against the end block. So we're going to take the 12mm M3 screw and a star washer, not a plain washer, a star washer, pass that through the hole, and again using the PosiDrive number one screwdriver, catch the end of the belt fitting and gradually tighten it. Now again, the exact tightness is a little bit hard to judge. Again, as long as there isn't any free movement in the slide, that should be fine. The star washer helps prevent that loosening during operation. So there we have both the X and Y belts installed and tightened. The last step is to mount the pen slide and connect everything up.